Hey boo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about some anticipated reads for the rest of 2024. But not the rest, because I need to cut it off. I ain't got a clue, bruh. I'm gonna tell you this one time. But not the rest. Because I didn't cut it off. We're going to talk about the books until we get to for the rest of the summer. I'm going to say that. Because in the fall, I think all the, the um, cozy holiday reads are going to start popping up. And I didn't want to go into that just yet. Have the Townsend Family Recipe for Disaster. So this is a novel by Shauna Robinson. It's 345 pages and it does come out on July 2nd. So make sure you check that out. Let me, I should tell y'all the genres so y'all can know. This is fiction and contemporary. It's given uh, soul food for a black family in the South on the brink of falling apart. Perfect for fans of the Chicken Sisters. I don't know them. The summer, the last summer at the Golden Hotel. I don't know that either. But these are all black anticipated authors. Next, we have Like Mother, Like Daughter. This book comes out July 9th, and it is a mystery thriller. So make sure you check her out. Next, we have It's Elementary. This book has been on my TBR for a while. This is by Elise Bryant. It's giving cozy mystery. I read, I've only read one cozy mystery. And I don't know, it's giving a little cheesy. A little bit, a little bit. But I'm willing to give it another try because the premise behind this book is so stinking cute. So it's a PTA mom and something's going on down at the schoolhouse and we know how we, how we do about our children. So I definitely have this on my TBR. Next, we have Trouble in Queenstown. I think Queenstown is in the UK. Oh, it's in New Zealand, so not the UK. New Zealand but this is another mystery thriller it comes out July the 16th by Delia Pitts she's back in Queenstown New Jersey but I thought this was in New Zealand so this is actually in the United States oh, so this is the author of the first cozy read the only cozy cozy mystery mystery cozy read that I've ever read we have a couple flower and a pinch of death it is the Baker Street Mystery by Valerie Burns. So um, this is Big Dog. Look at this Big Dog. Um, the main character, she takes over a bakery. Her um, auntie, she passes away and leaves her this bakery in this small town, as well as this big old dog. And she's navigating um, life from a big city to a small town. And... I guess we have another mystery in this small town. So that comes out July the 23rd. Next, we have The Bookshop Sisterhood by Michelle Lindo Rice. This comes out July 30th of this year. A book that I'm looking forward to is Secrets number two, The Offer. The Offer by T.M. Richardson. So this is due to come out July 30th. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I just got into The Offer, no, The Oath by the same author, and I was pearls clutched, taken aback. So I'm definitely looking to getting into this, another poly romance. It's nothing like I've ever read before, guys. I'm not afraid to say that. Lovers Between Friends and Lovers by Charlene O. Obubi, Obubi, Obubi. Mm -hmm. This also comes out on July 30th and it is 368 pages. This is a cute cover. This might be, I don't know, that might be a little poly romance too. Look at it. Next, we have Frequent Flyers by Nuni Kawan, Kiwan, Kiran. I don't know, child. This book comes out August 13th, and this is a romance book. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be in the airport, passing time, doing things. You just never know with these with these covers. Sometimes they be trying to trick us. Next, we have The Ravenous Fate. So I am not a fantasy girly, but 
this kept coming up for me. So I said, well, <sighs> okay, boo. I hope this is gonna be okay. I've been trying to record this videos for the last hour, but we're gonna power through, right? The rich people have gone away. So this book comes out August the 6th. And let's hear a little bit about this. This book is by Regina Porter. A diverse group of New Yorkers are brought together by a search for a missing woman in a kaleidoscope novel of betrayal, race, and human connection from critically acclaimed author of The Travelers. Rich People Have Gone Away connects lives of ordinary New Yorkers to tell a powerful story of hope, love, and inquiry in our times while, okay, fiction, contemporary. That sounds deep. I don't know, I don't know about that. And last but not least, to round up the summer, we have the Accomplice, a novel by the Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. I definitely think I'm gonna read this one. It's not a long one and I wanna see, I wanna see, cause you know, who's not a power fan? Let me know, cause we are, me and husband, we are into the power universe. We're watching it. And so it sounds like 50 Cent, he can, um, he knows how to tell a story and he's not doing this by himself, so praise the Lord. He has Aaron Philip Clark. I don't know if that's a, a brother or what, but comes out September the 3rd, and we're gonna be checking her out. If you've made it this far in this video, don't forget to like this video. At the time of filming this video, I am at 400 subscribers, and I appreciate it each and every one of you guys that take time to listen to little old me talk about my books. If you have made it this far, don't forget to comment to this video. What other books have you guys seen that are gonna be coming out the rest of the year? And if you've made it this far in this video, don't forget to share this content with another fellow baby reader. It's been a rain. It's been a rain. Get ready to get cozy so I can get into some books. And until next time, guys, bye. <laughs>